No. Okay, we'll move on then. Uh, the Mass District Management Matters um, and F1 proposed amendments to the Marinwood CSD mission statement. Um, this is a this is something um, that was an outcome of discussing support for the Black Lives Matter um, meeting or at the last meeting and the suggestion was made to perhaps look at our um, mission statement and see if we could you know dovetail that in a bit um, so we provided a uh, both a current and a proposed mission statement for the board to review and to discuss and if it seems reasonable to adopt so I will stop there does anyone on the board have any comments on what was presented with regard to the mission statement it seems to me just reading the differences is just language moving words around it really didn't change anything from the current mission statement except the last portion where we're open to everybody i thought that's what we were already do we really need to add this for crying out loud this is carrying things a bit beyond our scope here. Okay. Thank you. Other comments? I think I understand what you're saying, Bill. And yes, in general, we believe that our parks and our programs and our facilities are open to all, but I do think that we do need to make a statement and make it very clear to others and a reminder to ourselves that we are inclusive of everybody and need to pause sometimes when we may be saying something or doing something to make sure that we are being inclusive and not possibly offending somebody. I totally, totally disagree with this. This is carrying PC movement way too far. I, I, I'm going to talk about this on our next agenda item in the same way. Okay. I believe in the golden rule. We are by law open to everybody. We can't discriminate about, against anybody for any reason. Why it needs to be in a mission statement is beyond me. Thank you, Bill. Leah, do you have anything to say? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I see. I mean, I see both sides of this. I see this kind of boilerplate, and then I also I can echo Bill's sentiment. So I, um, I don't have a problem approving it or making a motion to approve. Um, it seems a little bit in the weeds, but no comment further than that. Okay, um, Bill, to your comment, some of the. Uh, First of all, the mission statement itself is bullet points and moving words around, not precisely. Um, actually, we do, um, we do provide services to more than just district residents. Um, I hope that was clear. It wasn't necessarily um, meant to, as a wordsmithing exercise, but rather than just saying that what services we do provide were strictly for the Marinwood district residents um, is a little confining and isn't exactly the truth. So um, with regard to the mission statement, um, I think probably your biggest issue is the last additional statement. But you're I right. Make you're right. Hmm? You're right. Okay, that's fair. No problem. Um, that's why we discussed this at the board level. Okay. Um, I can also say that, um, you know, as Director Perry, who has been, you know, pretty much um, our most tireless board member in either maintaining or introducing policies since she sat on the board, was not going to be at this meeting. I took a one-off phone conversation with her two weeks ago to get her input as well. And um, not surprisingly, some of it mirrors a little bit of what you're saying, Bill. 
although in a much nicer tone. Anyway, I can't help my tone. <laughs> <laughs> but at any rate, um, her concerns were more in line with, um, you know, some other feedback, which I certainly anticipated about the, um, the next issue, and that is um, we have always restricted ourselves to our subject matter jurisdiction and matters pertaining therein. And this one goes a little bit beyond that. My feeling in introducing this was this movement was somehow, um, somehow justified a little bit of us stepping outside of our comfort zone and our jurisdiction in order to um, make a statement based on some of the um, notoriety that our community got um, recently and also over the last year with regard to the school um, renaming. Um, however, I'm not necessarily trying to be politically correct or over, overdo it, but I do think also that I agree with several people who say that silence is consent. And wanted as a, uh, as a board, I was hoping that we would um, at least acknowledge this um, irrespective of the fact that it doesn't fit as nicely and neatly into our, um, into our role on behalf of our community. Um, and that's my take on it. Um, anybody else on the board have anything to say? Okay. Um, do everything from the public. Yes, before you go there, um, yeah. it, you know, I'm trying to compartmentalize these two items and looking strictly at the mission statement. Um, personally, I agree with a majority of the changes that were made um, based on what the reality is of what we do right now. If you look at the current mission statement, where it says to develop and promote recreation programs and activities which satisfy the majority demands of the residents of the district, or it's the, the second or the last bullet point to develop and maintain park areas and recreational facilities and preserve open spaces for the enjoyment of the residents of the district. Um, this was written in, when the district was first put together. Um, I think the reality is we, you know, at most have a 60-40 district resident, non-resident split. Luke might be able to chime in on that better when it comes to our recreation programs, and it's probably closer to 50-50. And then also, you know, in terms of our parks and our open spaces, I, I certainly think that those are, you know, open, available for the enjoyment of, of all public. Um, so it just, to me, I don't necessarily disagree with those minor modifications, and I think they make sense based on the reality of who it is we serve and who is enjoying our properties. And those two items specifically are, are intended for, you know, public, not just district residents. Um, obviously, within our rec programs, uh, our district residents have opportunities to, uh, to, uh, register in advance of other people and they also have you know pay slightly different rates than outside when it comes to those uh, so we are recognizing our district residents with opportunities there and then uh, on the fire protection one uh, I just think that uh, originally when this was built as a as a uh, standalone volunteer fire department it really was meant to serve this small little pocket of community because there wasn't but again as that's grown we've formed contracts with agreement uh, contracts for service we've also formed shared services agreements uh, with just about every other local agency uh, you know we contract uh, with the county to serve some of their properties i can also understand there why we've taken out the, the residents of the district and adding a uh, and other served communities. But that's just my two cents, and that's compartmentalizing, strictly looking at a mission statement that, to your point, was written in bullet point and was uh, really exclusive in my mind to serving what was kind of a small, isolated pocket that no longer really is the case. Thank you, Eric. Any further comment from the board? Okay, um, any comment from the public on this on this particular issue? Yeah, one second. 
Uh, go ahead, Stephen. Hi. Um, first of all, I want to say, actually, I agree with everyone who just spoke. Um, I think uh, everyone's heart is in the right place. I commend Jeff for wanting to be sensitive to the needs of, uh, of a greater community. Um, it was well said on. I uh, understand Bill's concern as well with political correctness. Uh, you saw my email earlier today. We'll discuss that next. But with a specific regard to this uh, proposed mission statement, I actually disagree with it because um, although we are serving more than uh, district residents, it's only district residents that are actually footing the bill and paying, paying, the, uh, uh, paying the cost, paying the freight here. And um, with this mission statement, um, it suggests that, no, we need to go further out and subsidize activities really outside the district. And I, I think that's a mistake. I think we should keep it focused uh, with the current mission statement. And, all, and maybe I, I, I do agree with the idea that we should reach out to other communities, but um, I think that that should be maybe not part of uh, the mission statement um, that uh, perhaps a foundation or something uh, that could support uh, which, which is uh, really charitable works should should be formed to um, to, to serve outside the community um, also I mean with the fire district for example um, you know, we have the, the taxpayers, uh, we have CS13, we have uh, uh, a shared services agreement, but, you know, we, we don't want to broaden this that we don't really have focus. And I think the proposed mission statement doesn't uh, adequately give focus. Now, as far as, um, as, far as the last item, I, I agree, I think we can uh, be more open and inclusive. I think that will make us a better community. But let's talk about that in the next section. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Stephen. <coughs> okay, does anyone, anybody else or any other member of the public have anything to say on this particular agenda item? No. Okay, hearing none. Um, do I have a motion to approve this agenda item? A motion to approve uh, this agenda item of the proposed mission statement. Okay, Sivan is moved to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, Leah, Leah is seconded. Any further discussion from the board? Okay, um, Tiffany, if you'd like to take roll call. Sure. Board President Naylor. Aye. Director Green. Aye. Director Oyserman. Aye. And Director Shea. No. Thanks. Okay. Motion passes three to one with, uh, of course, Leah, or I'm sorry, Isabella not in attendance. Thank you. We'll move on to district matter. F2, proposed statement opposing systemic racism. Again, this was uh, presented at the last meeting. I don't think that the, um, the items have changed much at all. Um, but this was to recognize um, some of the events that have happened in this neighborhood recently um, with regard specifically to the Black Lives Matter movement and um, it made, it occurred to me that some level of support for the nonviolent um, protests associated with Black Lives Matter might be in order given their recent events. Um, naturally, there are several bullet points in this list that do um, extend past the limits of our jurisdiction. Um, that is certainly something that I was aware of when I wrote this and has been pointed out to me several times. Um, however, I wanted to 
open the dialogue and get people's feelings on this. Anybody like to start? Shall I go again? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead, Bill. Oh, God. All right. <clears throat> again, uh, let me reiterate uh, from the last. <clears throat> I really believe in the golden rule. I treat everybody the same. I may be a little gruff. I may be a dick at times. But I tell you, I just, I could never go along with this at all especially the last couple of bullet points. I just, this is so far out and really we, we've got no business doing this. We've already uh, voted approval for the, uh, for the mission statement. Is that not enough? I mean, seriously, the, carries things so far. And was it really our district? I just don't think so. I'm just sorry. I just, I don't see it the same way you do, Jeff, honestly. Um, I, I, I'm sure that you're not alone. No, I it just, I just can't go along with this at all. I'm sorry. That's fine. Don't be sorry. Thank you for your opinion. Um, Leah, any thoughts? Um, Switzerland, I, I agree with this statement. I agree with Bill. I feel like this is really edging on the outskirts of what the district can and should be commenting on. Um, I realize it's in the worldwide zeitgeist, and I think that that carries some weight and gravitas, so I'm glad that we're discussing it. Um, I'm really torn about whether or not at a board level that, yeah, like what the, what the etiquette is around this, hmm. if that makes sense. Fair statement. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -mm. Okay. Siobhan? So I wholeheartedly agree with the statement that Jeff made. I also understand everybody's view and in general what the board normally does for staying within the confines but at the same time our district was in the Dixie School District our district is also had some not so fun um, situations arise and people wanted to stand up and voice their opinions on Black Lives Matter and I personally feel that we should be saying something. I understand that the district's jurisdiction, sorry, the district's jurisdiction, cannot say the word today, jurisdiction is fire, emergency response services, parks and recreation, street lights. But I do feel that by thinking about our parks and recreation and our fire and emergency, if we are saying, you know, hey, Black Lives Matter, you know, everybody has a right to be in this community and to be served in all these aspects with the same respect and the same level as everybody else. And so that's kind of where I stand. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Appreciate your, your thoughts. Um, okay. Do we have any comment from the public? Yes, one second. Stephen, go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you once again, and I appreciate everybody's comments. Um, I know, uh, and actually I agree with, agree with you all. Um, the, do Marin Woods, uh, lives matter? I, I think so, and that's one of the reasons why um, we have been trying to get the toxic waste cleaned up for eight years uh, at Marinwood Plaza. And several times over these eight years, um, we have come to the board asking for uh, letters of support, and each time we were met with the same 
response that, hey, we can't comment on that. That's outside our ju jurisdiction. I happen to disagree because it, uh, you are an official voice of the community, and when uh, people's health is uh, at stake, I think um, they're, you're the only moral authority. So in, in a way, um, you know, having a statement of inclusion, I, I think, kind of makes sense. However, I'm really troubled with the language of your letter, um, uh, specifically the reference to Black Lives Matter, which will uh, cause a lot of confusion. Um, I hope you read my letter. I hope you actually visited um, uh, the, the videos uh, that were came out of these things. One was the Marinwood incident, um, and the other one was um, BLM protesters up in Nevada harassing some older women. But Black Lives Matter, the political movement, is it, it, it has really been co-opted. Um, some of you may know that it, it has some communist, uh, the, the originators were uh, communist, uh, self-avowed communists. Um, there are, there's violence going on across the country. I, I just think that, you know, by doing this now, all you're doing is putting the spotlight on our community kind of like saying, hey, we're not racist here, you know, you're basically going to um, create controversy within the community. Now, I, I agree with the goals, and I think the best way we can do that um, is through, uh, you know, broadening our recreation programs to include more cultures, more people outside the district. I, I I've long thought that that is something that we could do as a community. But that way, we stay within our recreation role. And um, so I, 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 while I am sympathetic with the, uh, the goal of, of your letter, Jeff, I really think you're, you're, we're asking for trouble um, and it will be misunderstood. And quite frankly, I think a lot of community members may take issue with this. So to do it as a, uh, an official document would also be a mistake. Now, if you wanted to do it individually, I think that would be okay. But um, I, I think you should, you know, think of a way to do this where uh, we can persuade, do the right thing for the community and uh, broaden our Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate the input. Okay. <clears throat> um, I've, I'll chime in last, because I was the author of this document. So um, I want to also bring in comments I received from Isabella pertaining to this particular item as well. Again, I have spoken to no one other than Isabella on the board about either of these issues prior to this meeting. And her comments came in after the meeting uh, agenda was published. So I'm just sharing these with you. But essentially, um, her comments, which I do understand, were primarily to focus on the third bullet point of this list that I, um, I created in the first place, which really, really focuses on what we do, what our services are. And uh, that's um, essentially what she recommended that we looked at. So I'm just, just for full disclosure, I wanted to let you know what one of the other board members thought about this particular item. And um, I do not find any fault with her reasoning. Um, so I'd just like to add that. Does anyone else on the board have any comment after um, I made that statement on behalf of Isabella? Okay. Um, I've, got, I've gotten a lot of feedback on this issue. 
Um, I'm number one heartened that we've actually had the discussion in a public meeting. Okay. Number two, I took the time to um, interview several people of color before I went ahead with this. And I think I have a much better understanding of what Black Lives Matter is and what it stands for, as opposed to all of the ancillary information that's out there in the public. Um, however, um, I am willing to entertain making a softer statement on behalf of the district, if anyone would like to um, propose that. And again, I do have a tendency to think that um, what Isabella recommended, and that is talking about welcoming it, you know, all people into our community to use our programs and our services, does strictly conform to what services we provide, as opposed to um, <clears throat> extending our opinions to services that we do not. So Jeff, just to be clear, are you wanting to kind of shell the statement next is and possibly rewrite it again and then present it to the board? I don't want to rewrite it or present it again. I'm simply saying perhaps we could tonight vote to adopt simply the statement that the Marinwood Community Services District welcomes all people to our community to utilize our facilities, our parks, create playgrounds, participate in our programs in a safe and responsible manner. Would that generate any difference? Isn't that our mission statement? I'm just asking. Good point. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, the last sentence. Does that designate our district's parks, recreation, services, and facilities as open and available and welcoming of all people? So if that's what we're going to do, if we're just going to take bullet point number three from this statement, we do have bullet point number three in our mission statement. Mission statement. And okay, so fair enough. If, if, um, we're, if we're going to take out the other things due to the fact that our district's jurisdiction, then that's fine. I understand what people are wanting to do there. Um, but then I don't see that we need to approve this or even approve just the third bullet because we have that in our wishes yes, already. I agree. Um, what, I'm, what I'm proposing at this point in time, given feedback that I've got both prior to this meeting and during this meeting, is that we withdraw this from consideration. Um, we have approved some small modifications to our mission statement, and we just leave it at that. I am, however, gratified that we had the chance to discuss this in public. I think it's an important social issue. It should not be ignored, but I also understand that it's not in our particular um, zone to issue some of the um, considerations that I included when I first proposed it. Any further comments? Okay. Do I have to do anything else to withdraw this, Eric? No, there's no motion on the table. So right. unless the director wanted to make a motion, but uh, at this point you don't have a motion on the table, so you're, you can you can simply move on. Yeah. And Does anyone